Hello, this is Chris of Magoosh, and today I have STEM words for you. Words that come from science, technology, engineering, and math, hence STEM. The first word we have is empirical. The GRE loves this word. And being in college for a while, I know this word is bandied about a lot. What does it actually mean, though? Well, empirical means something that can be measured, something for which you can collect data. It is essentially derived from the five senses. And so you oftentimes have this word matched up with observations. Empirical observations show us. So let me tell you or give you an example of something that is not an empirical observation. Oh, look at those people there. They look very mad. Not empirical. That's just me being subjective about it. That's what I think. Versus something that would be an empirical observation would be, aha, those few people standing there are both 5'11". They are wearing a red shirt. And what am I doing? I'm just listing the facts. So that is essentially empirical. And I think the one little wrinkle we can add with empirical, you're usually measuring some kind of number as well. Next word up is catalyst. A catalyst, as you know from science, is something that speeds up a reaction. And that's often how we encounter it in the more figurative sense where you just see it on the GRE. So a catalyst is something that speeds up. So a catalyst, for instance, of the Industrial Revolution was the proliferation of factories. So something that speeds up another thing, catalyst. Irrefutable. Well, let's take this word apart first. To refute something means to disprove it completely. You are completely wrong. So what could irrefutable mean? Aha, if a theory, as everyone would love their theory to be, is irrefutable, that means it cannot be disproven no matter what. And hence, this is a good STEM word because when we're talking about theories or hypotheses, irrefutable and refutable and refute often come up. Debunk. What does debunk mean? To jump off the bunk bed? Hey, I just debunked. Not quite. To debunk means to prove something to be false. Hey, that's a phony claim. So go on the internet. There's a lot of claims on the internet. Things that promise to do stuff for us. And they say based on studies, and there's like 17 asterisk marks next to that. So oftentimes, maybe even presently, but maybe a year down the road, we find out that whatever those claims were have actually been debunked or proven to be false or bogus. Irreconcilable. Now you might know this word in terms of reconcile or reconcilable, like if two friends aren't fi are fighting, not getting along, and then they reconcile, they make up. And if things are really, really bad between them, they're irreconcilable. So that's also a good use of the word. But how does this relate to STEM? Well, let's go back to theories again. If there are some empirical observations or findings, and they are irreconcilable. They show very different things about a certain theory. Huh, how is it that we measured these two things, but this set of numbers shows me this, and this set of numbers shows me this? Something must be wrong. I can't reconcile or put those two data pieces together. They are irreconcilable. And that is definitely something I've actually seen on a text completion before reconcile used in this context. Astronomical, what can it mean? Something with astronomy, something with the stars, kind of. Astronomical means very, very large. And it's not going to, at least on the GRE, be employed in a space context, but more figuratively. Like the economy has grown astronomically over the years or prices for lunch in the local area. This is definitely more pertinent. have grown astronomically. They just keep going up. It's like 20 bucks for lunch. Just please give me a little taco. And there you have the words for the week. And it's irrefutable that if you learn these words, your vocab will improve astronomically. If you want to improve your vocabulary and prepare for the GRE, check out our free GRE vocabulary ebook. Not only is it a great comprehensive tool for learning more words, it's free. Get it at the link in the description below. And if you want more vocab videos, check out the ones on your left.